Yeah, this is the piano here in Antique Baby Grand. As you can see here, it was used for like entertainment here. And you can get a close up of the keys. There. And then the music. This is how, what the door looked like. And you can see the inside, Steinway and Sons. It's kind of blurry behind the strings, but hey. And here are the catering containers here. And this just are just the size of the statues here. Turn on the ISS so you can get a better view for it. Yeah. A little bit of hunting here. And here again, there's some statues. Here. Also, I wanted to mention one no, one note here. So this piano was custom made by Steinway and Sons. And some religious statues here. And also some stainware containers. This is the Aeolian Muller, MP Muller organ with an Aeolian style player and the pipe rings to this instrument are upstairs, but we're not going to show this to you today. But basically, this is instrument was, is, was used and I believe it's still in some use to this day. Um, there's the toggle switch. Here are the stops. So you are going to stop down the ISO so you can get a better.
You know, this is like an orchestral type organ console here. And there's a statue over here. And if we can get to this angle here. Some old lamps and all. And this is an antique fireplace here. So I think I showed you this, but I'm gonna show it to you again. I think it's worth showing. And here's some other things going on. Notice there's some gauges because you got a monitor and all that good stuff here. We'll hopefully show you another room shortly. Okay, we are entering the Great Hall section of this museum. This is low as so it'll go for ISO. But yeah, I want to focus on the items here. There's a statue on up there too. Feel free if you need to pause at any point. the statue here again there's another wonderful old tiny fireplace and these are please do not touch type items these are obviously old items when you see that but you can see some wonderful stuff here lots of plates and all that would have also had been used. Go ahead and pause if you need to at this point or any point of the video. So. Articles from the old Virginia Pilot Ledger Star newspaper. Some discs and all weaponry. Old stuff. Table, nothing new. But here's some old, really cool antique books they say that they do not touch. up there too the fireplace with some stuff in it just like the other side has there's another antique style door which was part of the original entrance area and I think that's worth noting some tea stuff and all one of the statues here also another statue location note this was the original entrance and it 
some statues here you could see and all. Some areas here, other parts of the area. The sun's very bright outside this one. Yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. Some more stuff here. One of them that looks like a horn is actually a vase type setting. And here are some statues. Here. I'm not gonna get to all of them, but yeah, I got a quick look at those. Now I also want to show you the dining area here. That's the, I believe the staff dining room over there. I believe this either might be a toaster or something. I'm not sure what, or napkin holder. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah. If you use the listening guide, I highly suggest you use it. Here's a fireplace. Thing is wrapped off. As the lighting improves, I'm gonna lower the ISO. Yeah, the good old fashioned auto ISO does work. This is the dining table here. And I'm gonna zoom up to give you a better view of it. And here's a picture of another staff of ours who has happened to be in the museum. And that alien pipe organ, I would love to play it, actually. Some more things that this museum that we're not aware of, but yeah, do exist. Pictures and all. And there's some background of this dining area as well. Give you a chance to it. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and do so. There's a lot to read. I I get it. And I think that concludes the dot the dining room area. See you in a minute for the other site. Approach the little library section of the museum. So Feel free to pause if you need to. Visual Arts School in the 1940s. Lafayette River.
Here's some old antique stuff. Oh, an antique clock, which probably doesn't work. And some pedals and all for like sporting events and all. And at one time, this would have been the master bedroom. I'm only increasing the ISO because it's so dark. This is like the playroom section of the museum. Nothing, nothing too unusual with that. And again, this is a dressing room. An old timey style bathroom. And of course a toilet would also be in a separate area at that point too. Which in a old home situation that's very common but this is another area a, I believe I would call this a den you can see statues of Jesus Christ and all you can tell they were devout Christians here at some point as well yeah probably liturgical type if anything. There's a lot to soak up with this. Oh, and I see something here. Looks like the Statue of Mary, that something suggests they might have been Roman Catholic as well, but who knows who they were. <laughs> And this is one of those chase furniture devices here. Yeah, and another cool looking fireplace and then some, uh, another unique painting in this building as well. So, if you get a chance to check this museum out, do it. It's, it's one of the most unique museums. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back in a moment. Also, one last thing to note that there's the original entrance. There's a statue over there. A couple doors here, I which I...
And I think next time when I'm here, hopefully I'll have the upstairs open. I can do a second half of this video to this video. So. And again, it's our whole time in heaters. And a pretty cool book. So, and this would be to the organ chamber here, which is actually off limits right now, but then this is the bell. And that's pretty much it for this library. So, yeah, pretty much it for the first floor. Hopefully, and soon I'll get the second floor too.